everybody thanks for uh, stopping by the channel as you can see there is the uh, spindle stop that I showed in my last video and uh, had some fun today you notice now there is a handle here and the handle has a pin on the end of it and of course I had to stay with the 3d printing and get myself a knob made but you'll notice here there's something different on the end of this guy well, Don Teeple, I think is the name, if, it, if I'm correct. He wrote, and there's, boy, there's a lot of smart people out there, and I love the comments. He said, hey, here's what you need to make. And there's the other piece. Slides in. Now I can tighten. I can tighten, or I can loosen, and I can retrieve. Let me uh, turn the camera around, and we'll uh, try it at the lathe. The other thing that I haven't done, I put a bolt in the end of this, but would be to make various tips. Right now, these two pieces take this to the very back of my spindle. If I put the stop all the way in, and I have the ability to retrieve it, the stop when it's all the way in. And then the option here would be, of course, is to make extended noses of different diameters. To go further into the chuck if I wanted to, or it could actually go into a 5C collet. Uh, and this could be a collet stop also for a 5C collet. But uh, hey, let me turn the camera around and we'll give it a run. Okay, we're over here at the back of the lathe. Um, just wanted to show you the, the bell mouth that I put on the end of the part there. Had a little fun today, used my forge, and uh, I'll show you a little clip quick video of that alright back from that you can kind of see, but it was kind of fun uh, fooling around with it. So the unit slides in just like it did before. It's nice and loose right there. The wrench goes on it, slide it in, clockwise spin, and the unit's locked in there. Don't have to wrench the hell out of it. Find the uh, little key slot there to pull it out, and there's the tool. It's out and it's installed. Go back in with that bell mouth. It makes it a little bit easy to find it counterclockwise. Pull it back out. I love it. Anywho, there it is. The tailstock stop <laughs> 3D printed. Maybe I'll go around and machine these. I don't know. Like I said, it's a tool that's not going to get used a whole lot in my shop, and this is more than functional right now. I may uh, may uh, work on my 3D printing and try to put a radius edge on this guy right here. Just uh, I was goofing around the other day, and I was having a problem. Again, anybody that knows Fusion knows how to do it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. And as always. Uh, Share the video, uh, likes, I appreciate it, and uh, comments are always welcome. Some great comments. And Don, thank you for uh, your advice on how to do this. Super. Just a little extra uh, information here. I know some people are going to wonder, how did, I, how did I make this guy? Basically had a piece of pipe here. Good, good wall thickness on it. The 3 8 bolt actually fits right into the end of the pipe. So that was uh, simple to do. After I bell mouthed this piece, which you saw I fooled around on the forge doing that, the bell mouth is just to make it simple. Other than that, end mill goes in, make your cut depth, and just come back sideways to make the uh, slot. So in, and then a slot. 
and then this guy was the bolts going all the way through you can see it in here so it's a long bolt and basically welded welded this guy right into the end of it like that created it created this piece real simple it was a lot of fun hope that helps uh, uh, everybody if you have any other questions uh, feel free to let me know this is an aluminum tube so I made a steel slug that went in there and then this was a uh, uh, 3 16 dowel pin basically drilled uh, this is 187.187 drilled a point 185 hole pressed it in there ground off the end to, to length kind of all simple had a lot of fun